Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So, what did I get this week? Well, on Saturday I went to Biology, which is just an independent, just a discount store really, where I live. They had loads of just new kind of uh, accessories, stickers, things that I hadn't really seen before. So I think again, this craft, which is just a wholesaler, I think they've just got a lot of new stuff that they're bringing out. So I will take it out of the packaging and then I'll show you what I've got in more detail. Okay, so that's a bit better now, there's not so much glare. So first of all, I picked up these little embellishments. They're just really nice for sticking on your cards. Also, has little charms maybe on your mini albums. Uh, they also look great on scrapbooks. You can use them on all sorts, gift bags, you know, all that kind of stuff that we like to do. But these were nice, because they're actually, you can see they're brads. So you just open up there. Can you see the back there? So they're just little, this is plastic and then this is all metal and they're the smallest of screws, screws? <laughs> that didn't come out right, the smallest of screws in the middle there. So depending on what I'm gonna use them for, I would probably take the brad off if I just wanna pop some, you know, silicon glue or hot glue and pop it directly onto a card. But if I'm gonna use these on gift bags and I'll pop a hole punch, pop them through and they look nice on the bottoms of my handles. So I thought they were really nice, so you get six on a pack, six in a pack, sorry, and I got the silver and the gold. Now they did do a mix, so you got three silver and three gold, but I just thought I'd get one of each. So there probably are more car more colours. God, I'm not getting my words out at all. There are probably more colours around as well, because again, this craft company or wholesaler, they just do tons and tons and tons of stuff. So really like those, they were a pound each. Then I picked up these, which I really liked. Now these are all metal, and they're little, little leaves. So I've got the small and then the larger, and again in the silver. Now they did do a bronze, like an antique bronzy color, but I didn't really like that one, but I got these. Now what I intend to do is they've got foam on the back. I'm actually gonna take the foam off and use silicon glue, because that will dry clear, because you can actually see, once you take that off, you can see the square, and I don't like that at all. Whereas if you take the square off, it looks so much better, and they bend perfectly, so you can give it a little bit of dimension. But that would look lovely on gift bags, gift boxes, for toppers, it looked nice on your uh, you know, card making. You imagine if I put a few flowers together like this, and instead of using the green leaves, you had the silver behind, and then you had some mirrored silver cardstock as your kind of mat and layer. What a lovely card that would be. Silver embossed sentiment, so you can see where I'm going with that. So again, you got six for a pound, so I've got those, and then these ones you get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of the small ones. Then I picked up these, love these. I used these similar ones, they've done a slightly different style flower before, but the leaves are lovely, so they're all paper. They've already been distressed as well, which I like. There is two there, I can't get it off right now, but again, you can just see how you can just make up a lovely little piece there to go on a card. You know, like that, just looks really, really nice. So, so me and my mum always split these. So we've got the pinks, the blues, there was also greeny colours, peachy colours, and I think more purple tones, that was it. So you do, again, there's lots, 99p, again, that same company. Then I picked up these. These actually reminded me of Prima flowers, especially this colour here. So I picked up two bunches of those, and they're all separate. Take this off here, you can see they come off at the top, and then they just, you just kind of, twist them open again but you can either twist the wires you need to kind of rearrange them a little get it bit they do get squashed but just reopen them up but I just thought it was such a lovely color you can see there and you can put your Wink Stella or your Spectrum Noir glitters sparkle pens and stuff and that makes them look really nice and then with the ends of it here if you just use your pokey tool and just wrap the wire around like so, and then you have that sticks out from behind it. And then you could layer up again like those leaves, for example, if I bring in some of these, you imagine you've got leaves and stuff all around it, that leaf's probably a bit too big, but again, you get what I'm trying to say there. So yeah, really good. I go through lots of these, I use them in my scrapbook layouts, and you see them on my gift boxes. They're great for the teacup and saucer that I done, so they always get used. Then I picked up these, a little bit different. I'm not gonna open the bags because they're stapled together, but they're just really cute little colors, but they're butterflies, little plastic ones. 
Um, they do have holes going all the way through so they would work for charms but these are nice with all the kind of whimsical stuff that I've got and I've got a lot of the pastels rainbow colours and stuff so I just thought these would look nice for that and they're just nice little kind of pops of interest to add to your cards and your other projects so got those and then I picked up these which are alphabet pieces and you can again see there they've all got a little kind of hole at the top there so you can hang them but I thought that could look nice on some of the cards that I make kind of hanging dangling between you know like the pillar fold card that would look nice or the bridge fold you can imagine this like a little happy birthday hanging so 99p I just thought they were really nice and then these I always use my um, alpha stickers so these are the puffy ones um, this has got a, a bit of a Kath Kitson kind of look about it so I really like them if I bring it up really close you can see all these pretty florals in between them there I got two of each just because obviously when you're working with the alphabet you don't always have lots of letters to play around with so if I do spell a particular word that has three A's as opposed to two then I would need to use two packs so I've got two packs in that and then this one was at the back and I was like oh my god I've got to get that because it will work and goes perfectly I've already looked at it with the Paige Evans whimsical collection these will work perfectly with it there's a few other um, com uh, collections that I've got that this will also work with but the uh, that one particularly so you'll probably see this featuring in layout very soon so that was those again 99p each and then I picked up some more butterflies so you know I love my butterflies now these are different because they don't have the holographic outline which I prefer because you know I always tear off the top of it now these ones are kind of already done for you and what I'm going to show you my idea is you get them like this on a sheet if you just cut roughly them out so I like to get everything kind of prepared so when I buy something I will sit here now once I've stopped filming and I will go and fussy cut all of these put them in my little pot and then they're ready to go now you can see there it's got the sticker if you fussy cut around that so just kind of follow that line and roughly cut it out again okay so now I've just cut that out then if you fold the body so just kind of what I do with the other ones but if you fold it either side of the body itself so you have a flat surface in the middle so you can see now I've got that flat piece there with some of my red tape and I will do this I'll prepare all of them this way pop it in the middle because this is exactly how I like to use them like so because the red tape works perfectly with the acetate stick that right down fold it back up again and now that is ready for me to stick on a card or any, anything else and look just look how real that looks and you haven't got the glare of the light on it there we go lovely I just adore these real life real life real life looking butterflies these would also work though as a sticker just on acetate so again if you're making like the teacup box that I made to go with it you could stick these directly onto the acetate and they'd still look nice but you can also manipulate the acetate a little bit by just really working the ends there with your you know your bone folder probably work even better actually now you can see there that has worked but again can you see now just gives it a little bit more dimension so from being something very flat I've now got this really nice embellishment and you know you start to play with your you know your flowers around it and stuff you yeah it all soon comes together so I've got loads there so you can see them a bit better rather than just that flat sticker pack so I've got those three I thought there were some really lovely images of them that one I really like and what was the one on here oh this one here I thought that was really pretty and that one there I like and these just think they look lovely so I've got all of those and then I popped back into B&M with my friend, she needed to pick something up and I just saw these here. So this is $1.99, you get three yards and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rolls and it's ribbon but it's like a paper. So I'm not going to unravel all of it but if you just grab your double sided tape and run that along there and then you can just put that strip along the bottom of the gift bag down the side of a card but I just loved the sparkle that came off of them I thought that was really nice you could do a bow with them um, you would obviously not get the glitter on both sides the glitter doesn't actually even really rub off which obviously I thought it might do because it's quite cheap yeah it's not the easiest to form a bow but I don't know let's have a go I think we can you just got to be careful you don't want to pull it too tight because I think it will just snap it's like a coated paper 
I can probably get away with a bow there actually. It goes a bit flat so you probably just have to work it a little bit more but let's, let's just do this one here while I'm here because I will use this one. That's not bad actually. I quite like that. There we go. So you can get a bow from them as well. So I just thought it was really good for a £2 for the amount that's there. There's loads. You see really nice colours. White, red, gold, pink, silver, like a rose gold and then the black at the bottom. But yeah, really nice. I actually quite like that you get the plain in the middle. I think that does well. There we go. So I picked up those. If you can grab them, do. They've only got a very small craft section and it is more geared towards children. But, you know, things like this. And they do do the gold, silver, mirrored cardstock, glitter cardstock. So, yeah, perfect for your mats and layers and stuff. So grab that one. Then I actually got this one a couple of weeks ago and I am working on it. And this is... Um, by the lovely Hales Couple Ditch. She done the Christmas Village for Trimcraft last year. She's done loads of other commissions. She, she's an amazing illustrator and she does lots of um, commission work. And, and she's done this magazine and I follow her on Facebook and she was asking about doing the magazine and what kind of things we like and it, they, basically she's released this one and it's beautiful and it's all around spring and Easter. I'm not going to show you all the images in sight, I don't, again don't think it's very fair. I purchased this off of Etsy and I will share her shop below and then you can check it out for yourself there. She gives you a little kind of um, overview of what's inside but I don't want to give that all away but those of you that like Hell's Couple Ditch, if you like her illustrations then I think you'll really like this and I can't wait to share the projects that I have planned for this one so that's that and then I picked this up from Create and Craft now it was heavily discounted I got it for nine pound something the reviews for it aren't great basically what I want it for is to just stitch simple straight lines on my scrapbook layouts or maybe on some of my card craft without having to get my whole sewing machine out so for me it was kind of more for an ease now I've watched the demonstrations and even the demos they seem to struggle and it doesn't look like it's that great but that's when they're doing like these things here, like love and a leaf and stuff. And that's not what I want to do. I just want to do simple straight lines. So I'm hoping that it's going to do the job. Yeah, we'll see. I'm I'm kind of really undecided with this. If anybody else has it and you've used it, please share your comments, your real views on it, because I won't get offended, certainly not. Um, but I think for what I want it for, it should be okay. But I think any more than that, yeah, I can certainly see how it wouldn't work. And it's just a handheld stitch kind of pen and you can see there the, the thread goes through and you kind of punch it through your paper using this clamp kind of system. So yeah we shall see but that I ordered again a few weeks ago and it arrived so I thought I would just show you that one that I've got. And then finally the other thing that I received I was really really excited to have been approached by Arteza who are a very well established um, company that specialise in watercolours, oils, acrylics, papers, paintbrushes, brush pens, all that kind of stuff. There's loads and loads on there. Um, and they asked me if I would like to join their affiliate program and if I would like to try some of their product. So I've got a separate tutorial that will be probably already shown now, so you would have already seen it. And I will link that up here if it has. But I received the watercolour pans, so this is the 12 colours. Then I got 24 watercolour tubes so I've got loads of colours there. I've got two a bumper really lovely quality 300 GSM watercolour pads. I also got these which I've already opened because I have been using and these are three different sizes with the watercolour brush. Then I got a great big pad of all of um, pack sorry of all of these paint brushes. There's even more but these are perfect for when I'm watercolouring my tiny little stamped images and the little faces and stuff. You can see just how thin some of these are. There's an even smaller one just there. But in that tutorial I will share, obviously in more detail, all of this stuff. But I will share the links below as well for this product. Again, if you haven't seen that tutorial because there's loads of it there. What else did I get? I think that was it. Yeah, I think it was those colours and stuff. So, so yeah, I was a little bit spoiled with that because um, I didn't quite expect to it to be that much so um and I love watercolors and this is my kind of my relaxing kind of crafting that I love to do so again you would have probably already seen that tutorial if not I will link it in and the last thing that I've just seen that I pushed to one side was this ribbon that I also picked up by 
from biology. It's five meters and it was a pound or 18, no, it was 89p I think. But I grabbed it because it is the perfect match for the Stamping Up Lemon Lime Twist. So I know that they stock this particular packaging, this brand in the range. So for any of you Stampin' Up demonstrators or anybody that has the inks, go grab this because it's a bargain. Like I said, get five meters and it is exactly the same color. So yeah, it's just nice when you do get the odd bit that, that matches perfectly, but I just love that color anyway. And it's a really lovely ribbon, woven ribbon. So yeah, another good little find. So they did have other colors as well. They had a really nice uh, kind of pinky color. It was like that pink. So again, they work really well together. You can see there, they look great. So there's everything guys, a little overview. I'm now gonna sort it all out, take all the packaging off, recycle as much as I can. I usually use a lot of this card, goes into my card, a little kind of tray that I've got because it is, it's, you know, that you can get so much more use out of this and die cut it and stuff. So yeah, so I hope you like it. As always, I'll try and share as many links as I can in the description box below, and I will be back tomorrow with the tutorial. Thanks for watching, bye.